Hi, this is Queenie Yu from Bullet Point News. The London Palladium production of Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber's Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat is going to be performed at the Princess of Wales Theatre in Toronto from December 11th to February 18th. This production is famous for its unique casting. In the upcoming production, there are child singers and dancers. I have the honor of speaking with one of them today. Her name is Lavinia Luke. She leave, lives in Stouffville and is a student of the Harriet Chung Performing Arts School. Also joining us is Harriet Chung herself. Lavinia and Harriet, welcome to Bullet Point News. Hello, thanks for having us. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. So, uh, Lavinia, how old are you and what do you like doing? Um, I am nine years old and I like singing. Great. How old were you when you started singing and dancing? I was three when I started dancing and five when I started singing. Wow. And what do you like most about singing and dancing? Um, dancing, I like wearing pretty dresses and singing. It's just fun. Great. What did you have to do to audition for your role in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat? We had to do a, like a self tape video. And then we had to do um, an audition in person. And we did singing and dancing. Great. How did you feel when you were auditioning? I felt scared and excited. Good. Harriet, how long have you been teaching Lavinia? And what can you tell us about her dancing and singing skills? Yeah, since five, uh, since six years old, right? Since six years old, she actually came when she was a lot, lot younger. And um, I said to her, I actually turned her down twice because she was too young. <laughs> and she came to, to the class, she was like this, like enjoying, but you know, but not quite ready yet. I said, okay, come back come back next time and come back next time. I'm going to be here forever. So when she really came back the third time and she was so excited and passionate about this. So I'm like, okay, now you're ready to learn. So uh, what is special about her and is her passion. And um, she loved, she loved singing when I turn on the music and she become another person. She lightened up, like brightened up right away. And she is not scared to fail because she did two big auditions before this one in the same year and a uh, couple months apart. And the first one, it was Matilda and she froze, right? Remember, you were so scared and she froze. And when she was in the parking lot and she told her mom that I want to go back to do the monologue. And she actually went back and knocked on the door and asked for herself and she did a great one, but she didn't get cast for the first time. And the second time is another production and she did amazing job. Remember that one was really, really good, but she didn't get cast because it's, they're not looking for, for this look or this voice or, you know, it doesn't matter. So she never gave up. And for the third time, and she was so excited and she said, Miss Harriet, I'm so ready this time because I learned so much. So this is what is special about Lavinia at this young age already have this passion and hard work and never give up, right? What a wonderful quality, a wonderful yes. quality you have there. Um, Very important, yes. Yes, in the auditioning process for Joseph, why do you think Lavinia was chosen as one of the cast members? Passionate, yeah, passion. And of course you have amazing history, has an amazing voice. And it's all the skills combined with the singing skill and the dance skill. Lots of kids are very, very, very talented, like in the, in the audition. Um, it's the combination of both. And also they are looking for the, um, for the looks as well, because they want a multicultural cast, which is incredible. And um, they are at the right place at the right time. And I, I encourage all the kids to prepare and work hard all the time when the chance come then they they will shine 
Um, some of my kids, they are too tall, they're too old, so they cannot even get into the auditions, but they are not, not talented. It's just not their time to, to go yet. So this time, because she's at the right time at the right moment with the right skill and she's shine. So that's why this time it's her turn, right? <laughs> Great. Um, Lavinia, when did you find out that you were chosen to perform in Joseph? Mm, the day after the auditions. Okay. And how did you feel when you found out? I felt really excited and happy. Yeah, Great. show the face. Show the face. <laughs> <laughs> she literally had this face. <laughs> That's great. What role will you be playing in Joseph? I would be playing Benjamin's wife. Nice. Uh, do your classmates and teachers at school know that you're performing? Yes. What did they say? Um, they said congratulations and they're really excited for me. Great. And what's your favorite song in the musical? I don't have one. You love everyone, right? They're all great. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I saw a clip of her. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I no, saw no, a ahead. clip of her um, uh, on on social media that the, uh, the Murphys um, posted, and I saw her. She was like enjoying so much, right? Every single moment, right? Yes. Great. How often do you practice, and for how long? Um, we practice for a week, um, except for Mondays. Okay. Yeah. And what do you do during your practices? Week, yeah. Third week already, right? Right now it's the third week. Yeah. So it's third week full time already. Yeah. Fourth week. Yeah. Fourth. Is it fourth? <laughs> fourth week. Oh my gosh. Fourth week. So wow. Yes. And we have Monday right. off and it's full time, full day. Yeah. What do you do during your practices? We do a lot of singing and a lot of dancing. Now you're going to be performing in front of a very large audience. How does that make you feel? I'm excited, a little scared. Yeah, great. Why do you think people should get tickets and go and see Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat? Because we worked really hard and it's a really great show. And I just like it. And it's so fun, right? Yeah, for all, everybody, yeah. for all ages. Yes, lots of singing and dancing. <laughs> Great. And Harriet, why do you think people should go and see Joseph? Same reason. It's very entertaining, beautiful music. Uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, right? Really good music. And it's a re uh, they redo the show. It's not the old version. It's a new version with all... Um, new lighting, uh, new costumes, and the kids supposed to be, their core is supposed to be a uh, ensemble with like a big choir. Now um, it's only eight kids on stage. And yes, and our school have four kids in there. So please come to see us. <laughs> and she is Stouffville residence and me too. So our school is in Stouffville. So please come and see us. Great. All right. Um, so when your parents go and see you, are you allowed to wave at them and say hi from the stage? I don't think so. Not at all. Oh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> maybe in the That's curtain okay. call. Yeah, maybe yes. in the curtain call. When you do the bow, you can do maybe ask them. Hmm? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, actually. Okay, they can. great. So, uh, Lavinia and Hera, thank you so much for joining us at Bullet Point News. Lavinia, I look forward to seeing you perform on stage soon. Thank you.